everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. If you've got one of these OBD2 scanners and you have a Chevy in the 2000s, um, let's say a Chevy Suburban, a uh, Silverado, a Blazer, if you plug it in underneath your dash to scan your codes and it looks like this and nothing's happening, I'm going to show you what to check first. This week on Shop Shenanigans. Stay tuned and check it out. Okay guys, what we got here is this little Actron. It's a code scanner. Uh, it's the OBD2 pocket scan. It does a great job for all I need it to do. It's uh, the CP9125. 9125. And it plugs in with this right here down underneath the dash. Which I will show you right now. Let me get my camera off the tripod. I got my uh, lens cap on there. Now right under there. That's where this thing plugs into. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in. Just like that. Okay. Now I know it's going to come up some some codes for the uh, O2 sensors. It's a lot of people call them knock sensors, but it's going to come up with a code for them. She has them. I will put them in for her. But now we're going to turn the key on. And actually, as you can see. There's a problem somewhere because this thing is not reading anything. Okay, so we need to find out there must be a fuse somewhere because that should be, even with the key off, it should be reading something. It'll come across the screen. Um, so let's go ahead. And I'm going to see if I can find a fuse or something that's bad with this thing. And then, um, then I'll get back with you as soon as I find out why the scanner's not working in here. Okay, guys, we're going to check the fuses. I have the key on. I want to put this onto the ground, which is handy because right there's the ground of the battery. This is an 03. Chevy Suburban. Um, if I remember right, those work through the cigarette lighter. Okay, I know the radio works. I know everything works, but I don't know about the cigarette lighter, so I'm going to check it first. Okay, we got it on one side. Well, actually, I can see it's blown. Okay, so. All right, let's go ahead and pull that out. Yep, it sure is. It's blown. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is blown. Alright, so. Got a couple fuses in my pocket here. Takes a 15. There's a 15. I brought out a 10 and a 15 just in case because I didn't know which one it would be. I'm glad it wasn't a 20 because I didn't bring a 20 out. Okay, now let's go in here and let's check the code scanner. And see if it works because if I remember right my buddy had an 05 Chevy maybe it was an 04 that did the same thing and the cigarette lighter fuse is what caused it so let's go ahead and plug this in well let's shut it off turn the key off first all right let's plug this in what we got there it is pocket scan all right, now we're going to turn the key on again. All right, don't start it, just turn the key on. And we're going to push read. And now it's reading the codes. Like I said, it should come up with the O2 sensors. Okay, so there's a... I'm going to write this down, and then we'll go in and we'll look in the book and see what it what it is. So there you have it. Um, check your cigarette lighter uh, fuse first. 
should be a 15 amp um, it works on many different years I'm not exactly sure what years uh, sometimes it will also work on other GM products Buick Cadillac some of those I do know people have complained about the issues um, now if you do that and it doesn't work check your pins inside you know not only this not only on your but check your pins up under the dash I have seen them before uh, usually the one sometimes will bend okay well this has the pins and up inside is where the uh, is where these pins will plug into um, it's usually the bottom right the last one the bottom right which would be that one right in here um, check it sometimes they'll bend over and they don't make a good contact because that's your that's usually your power port it works on many many different GM Chevy uh, products um, check that first and then check your pin if that's not the issue then you're gonna to have to start looking into the wiring but there's a big chance that that's going to be your problem as you seen that was our issue um, so it's usually a pretty good uh, pretty easy fix um, because they don't get plugged into a lot um, but your cigarette lighter usually does you plug in chargers and you're you know um, they'll they'll burn out uh, quite frequently um, so if you're having that issue and you plug it in and it comes up just blank and it does nothing even when you turn the key on chances are it's your cigarette lighter fuse so check that first then your pin then you're gonna have to go into wiring but uh, I would check that first so there you guys go. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Have a good one.